Verse 8 says, and I, John. See, John shook up now. The angel shook him up. Can you see it here? And John saw these things and heard them. And when I had heard and seen, John said, I couldn't help but fall down and worship before the feet of the angel that showed me these things. Now the angel said, wait a minute. Don't you be worshiping me now. You're worshiping the wrong one. You need to worship God. I'm just a messenger. I'm just a fellow servant. I don't want to get in trouble with God. So watch out. That's what this angel is saying here. He said in verse 9, then said unto him, See thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant, and thy brother and the prophet, and of them which keep the saying of this book, worship God. Amen. Everybody say, worship God. Worship God. And he said unto me, Seal not the saying of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. Everybody say, look around you. Time is, at hand. Time is at hand. You can't see it? Come on, somebody. If you think, if you think the, the water going bad in Boston, come on, somebody. You see how folks act a fool, they run and get up all the water. Oh, I'm sorry. I call somebody a fool. But I got some fools on my fruit tree, too. I got some fools in my family, too. Come on, somebody. Along with the nuts and the fruit cakes. Come on, somebody. All kind in there, and they, they act up. You got all kind of people when they hear about what's going to happen inside the city. They know people need water. They go and buy up all the water, and then they want to sell it to you at an alarming price. Oh, come on, somebody. You know what I call folks like that? I mean, my wife saw one last night. A couple, they like to broke their neck, about to get run and hit over by a car. I call them bow weavers. You say, what are you saying? I'm trying to tell you, a bow weaver is an insect that prosper off of somebody else's profit. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at somebody say, ooh, okay. Oh, my Lord. Y'all forgot who I am, didn't you? Come back and you, I'm shaking your tree. Look at somebody say, you getting your tree shaken? You should be shooking a little bit, but you ain't seen nothing yet. Somebody's going to get mad before the day is out. Amen? They're going to go right past me at the back door. They ain't going to shake my hand. Amen? They ain't going to say praise the Lord or nothing. Amen? They're going to just look like a sour puss on the way out the door. Come on, somebody. In fact, they're going to look worse than when they came in and when they left. Amen? All because the truth will come out and folks will be mad with this work and mad with this ministry. That's why it behooves you to fast and pray and to cry to God for this work right here in Roxbury. Amen. That's the truth. That we cease not from preaching the truth. Huh. Wait a minute. Now. Verse 10. Just a few more verses here. And he said unto me, seal not the saying of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. Verse 11 says, And that is, and he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he that is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, come on somebody. Whatever you're going to be, be. Because I'm here to tell you, your, she, your, your tree is getting ready to get shook. Come on, somebody. You ain't seen nothing yet. You think the water that messes up the system, what's going to happen is the food supply get messed up. They sung that song, he's all right. Amen. He will take care of you. Amen. Verse 12 says, and Jesus said, behold, I come quickly. And when I come, I got something with me. Ain't that what he said? Oh, you might not read it like that. I know the word said reward. But he said, I come quickly and my reward is with me. And then he said, I'm going to give to every man according to what? His deeds shall he be. Whatever you're doing, you're going to get your reward. Good or bad, it's going to happen. Don't get mad with me because I'm getting ready to shake you up now. 
Jesus said, I am the Alpha and the Omega. I'm the first and the last. I'm A and I'm Z and I'm everything in between. Well, come on, somebody. So you, you can't get over him and you can't get under him. You can't go around him, so you're going to have to come through it. You got to to make up your mind. You got to make up your mind and say, I'm going to serve him. Well, there are going to come some winds that are going to shake your tree. There are going to come some trials that will shake your tree. There are going to come sickness that will shake your foundation. Oh, come on, somebody. But if you're staying still for the Lord and stay righteous still, if the, if the roots are holy, then so shall the branches. And if the branches are holy and the root is holy, so shall the fruit. My, my, my. You know, I'm reminded of several people in the Bible. And I might have to do a part two here. I'm reminded that when the man Zacchaeus, y'all already know the story, but I'm going to tell it to you again because it's got something on it. Amen? And the Bible says Zacchaeus was a Jewish publican. He had a short man mentality about him, and he was about yay high. Don't get mad with me now. He was rich. And had plenty of money. Yes, he did. If he can buy some statue or get some height, he would have paid every penny he had. But he didn't have any, 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 any way of getting any taller, so he developed a complex. On his tree was a defective character, better known as an ingrained habit. He had a problem about being short. Don't y'all look at me like that. Amen. Some of y'all got problems that started a long time ago. Amen. And instead of you getting rid of that rotten fruit, you let it grow with the rest of your fruit and it spoil your branches. Oh, y'all don't want to hear this today. Sometimes if you don't get rid of things that won't cause you to grow, it will grow into what you got. And when it develops, you ain't going to like what you see. That's why folks look at you and shake their head. Come on, somebody. Zacchaeus had a defect in his character. Everybody look at me and say, Zacchaeus had a defect in his character. Come on, somebody. Not only was he on his tree, was he stealing. Come on, somebody. Because he was robbing the poor. He had gotten and accumulated so much money, he came to be rich. Come on, somebody. But he had a troubled spirit. He had a troubled mind. He heard about this man called Jesus. Come on, somebody. And he had Jesus on his mind, and Jesus had Zacchaeus on his mind. And Jesus was coming through Jericho. Come on, somebody. And he got to thinking about, I got to stop in and see a man. I got to go by and see a man that need my help. Come on, somebody. The Bible said on his way down to Jericho, Zacchaeus heard that Jesus was on his way. He ran up and tried to look over the crowd, but he couldn't see over. Oh, come on, somebody. If you really want to see Jesus, you might have to get in a place where you can separate yourself from the rest of the world to be in union with God's spirit that you can see him for yourself. He couldn't see over the crowd, so he ran in front of the crowd. You say, how did he know Jesus was coming this way? Because if you know Jesus, he's coming your way. Come on, look at somebody and say, Jesus is coming your way. You might want to get ready. Come on, somebody. Because his reward is with him. Amen. He's going to bless you according to your deeds. If you do good deeds, you're going to get good blessing. If you're up to no good, Come on, somebody. The Bible says Zach is climbed up into a tree, looked out over the crowd, trying to figure out where Jesus is at. Because 